welcome to RC Cincy. Today we got a unboxing slash first little indoor flight. Uh, it's been really windy outside, so it probably won't get to go today outside with it, but it will get an outdoor uh, flight. And then we might do uh, a couple of different drone comparisons and uh, maybe an end of the year uh, best like drone or RC toys. We'll see what we come up with. But for now, uh, this is the product we have here. This is available from Meyer. It's made by Revolt. Uh, I think I had a drone from Revolt. It was the one with LED colors on it that can change. And it was altitude hold, a rechargeable battery. Uh, the single cell, the ones I like, that you can just easily buy more of, which is nice. Uh, so this one is different. Your typical drone will be on all four corners. This is like a heli style. So this right here is the Scorpion Heli Quad. Uh, so this it's kind of cool because it has some kind of cool features I've never seen. I'll talk about it here in a second. So it's got one button landings and takeoffs, altitude hold, easy to control. It's got six pre-programmed flight maneuvers. I don't know what that is, but I've never seen that before. Um, two speeds and you got the 360 flips. You got a video you can watch on it, USB rechargeable, which I do like. Compact folding design. You can fold it when you're done flying for space, even though it's not even that big. Um, and then kind of the same information in different languages on the back. So I've, I did open it to charge it and also apply batteries. So that saves a little time in the videos. So let's go ahead and pull it out and show you what you get in the box. Make sure that's everything. So we'll set this right here. And the good old manual you always always want to read over it has things that maybe you didn't know like what buttons to press to calibrate it you know stuff like that it's kind of important so it just talks about the controls it's nice to know what the controls are so top left is your uh six programmable moves your top very top bumper is the takeoff and landing button and then the flip button is just below it and then clicking in your right joystick is your um Different two speeds, you got low and high. Um, it just shows the entire quadcopter. You can put on the prop guards, which I'll show you here in a second. Shows you how the wings fold in. So it's pretty important. Shows you how to charge. Shows you how to calibrate, which I think is one of the most important things. Where is it at? Uh, let me see if I can find it. I think that's one of the most important things is a lot of folks will wreck it, have a bad wreck, and it'll be like flying kind of wonky. Calibrate is both in a 45 degree angle to the right. That's how you calibrate it. So it does have a lot of important information in here. I wonder how it senses auto hover uh, using the joystick throttle and sends and sends. I didn't see any like optical flow sensor or anything fancy like that. So, but it probably has a nebrometer or whatever to tell us altitude or whatever. They work okay. They're really small. They put them on the flight controller. I think that's what they're called. Uh, not barometer, but I forget what it's called. It's the. Um, tells the height or the pressure it can tell how high it is off the ground or whatever so if it has that of course uh, it might have other smart technology on the controller so uh we'll go through the accessory pack real fast so in the accessory pack which i like has uh four props you only get two guards because you're only going to need one on each end so you get two guards these just clip in straight really quickly what i like is they're screwless they just literally clip in and then instead of hitting it catching the blade and wrecking it may bounce back and may keep the blade from spitting and hitting stuff and doing more damage so it's not a bad idea to have that adds a little more weight may shave a couple minutes or so off the time uh you got those and then you have these little silver caps that go over them i don't know why they don't install them i guess they're extra weight so I, they don't install them you can install them if you like i'm gonna leave mine off i'm gonna do the out of the box experience you also have uh four four blades two guards and then the four little caps to cover each of the props and you also have a usb quality control ah! uh charger what it is buddy we may have to pause and take him out we'll see if he barks again ah! and you you gotta go you gotta go potties so we'll take a quick pause and we'll come right back okay so we just let the dog out um so you have a quality control little sticker there this is usb to little uh I forget what this connector is called. It has a weird name, but uh, 
It's your typical single cell 3.7 volt battery connector. Actually online, I've seen this on a um, on a two cell as well. So kind of watch that. But this is designed to charge. Usually they have the little imprint that'll tell you like the rate. It's usually like 0.5 milliamp which is half a milliamp so if this is a 500 milliamp battery it should take an hour or less because you don't drain it all the way so it'd probably take about 35 to 45 minutes to charge roughly and then you also get the battery it is one of those long ones you see these on the helicopters this technically is a heli quad so yeah uh it's just they fit better in a helicopter is being long like this you can see this battery on the blast actually would use 500 milliamps like this uh the kxk blast i think it was called uh, same connector, same 500 milliamp battery. You can get these from Amazon. You get, I think, like four or five of them from anywhere from $20 to $25. So that's nice that you can get battery replacement batteries for it. That's always a bonus. So that's the battery you get. And then uh, the transmitter reminds me of a SEMA transmitter. Uh, those little white drones, I forget. Uh, but uh, it fits in your hand well. It's decent size, not a small one. You are going to need four AA batteries with a screwdriver, four AA batteries. Uh, you got your programmable, um, your six pre-programmed moves right here. You got the top right is going to be your takeoff and land. And then the bottom one is going to be your flip. And then clicking this one to the right is going to be your different speeds, your low and your high. I have one or two beeps. And uh, really, that's pretty much it when it comes to the controller. So with the batteries in there, it does move around a little bit, but it's not too terrible. Uh, and then finally, the drone itself. Uh, it's kind of cool. So uh, I like the way it looks. It looks like a little helicopter. You do have this little light right here. It's a spotlight. I wonder if some of them can, even came with a um, camera because th this does have a little camera mount here. So they may have made other versions of this with cameras. Um, you get two blades on each side. That's kind of unique. You do have the capabilities of folding it. For storage, you can't obviously fly it like that. Uh, power button, you do have to press and hold for a second and then let go, press and hold for a second, let go to turn off as well. Uh, you got little, two little skis to land on and then you do have a little red uh, light there as well and then the white one in the front. And then you have the battery hatch, nice big compartment for the battery and then the connector and then the hatch itself just basically snaps in, very easy to use, right? So let's go ahead and pop the battery in. So, there was a little black piece of foam. I think I lost it. Oh, no, it's right there. It kind of came out. That would make the battery a little bit tighter. Um, so it wouldn't wobble as much. But I think I'm going to use the connector to help it. I removed that. I think I pulled on it. Not knowing. Like, why well, I didn't pull on it. It came off. And then it looked like part of the sticky um, tape wasn't peeled off correctly. And then I didn't put it in the right place. So I'm going to do is stick the wire right in here to take away that... that um, space there that would have for it to play around in so now you can see it's a lot firmer it doesn't shake it doesn't move around close the door and then you have your quad uh, obviously the very first time you want to power it on you want a nice level flat ground you can calibrate it the first time just so it flies good so what we're going to do is we're going to set it right i'm not going to take off yet because it blew okay. obviously uh actually on this on the ground there along somewhere flat yeah. here, i can do it right here so you want something flat and hard obviously you want to power your transmitter it will be flashing and then you obviously want to press and then let go bill <laughs> i can assure you <laughs> dangerous don't paw it he wants to paw paw it this is not a toy okay so it's gonna be very simple let me take off and then he won't have any issues yeah. so throttle up down see if the light went solid the light went solid you're bound so i'm gonna just start the blades well actually i'm gonna calibrate it so both in the 45 degree angle to the right did you see the lights flashing? Yep. That tells me it's calibrated. Here we go. So you can sit back on the couch, get because I'm gonna take once I take off, uh, I'm gonna come back this way to the center, so I'm away from the TV. Sorry, I had to grab the doggy. Thank you. Yep. And here we go. So this is very very <laughs> stable. There we go. Okay. I'm up high enough right now. So I'm obviously not going to be able to flip it. Okay. But I want to show you the radial. That's the radial in the uh, right uh, one. Here's the pitch forward. Pitch uh, back. Bank right. Bank left. Uh, so uh, it's a very standard altitude hold. 
Um, I'm sure the lights will flash once the battery gets low. It's going to have a really nice fall ah. time. So here's rate two. That's rate two. Let's check out. Ooh, yeah, it's faster. Let's check out the rate of yellow. Ah. Ah. Wow, ah. that yellow ah. is a lot faster. Ah. 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 Let me go up a little bit. Ah. 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 So this thing flies actually really, really stable. I'm going to put the sticks and show you how the two hold. That's what I mean by the two. I'm going to center it and let it go. So it's twisting a little bit, which is pretty standard. It does not have any trim buttons, so it has a little bit of drift. It puts off a lot of air. <laughs> like, you know. Though both of those blades yeah. are like countering each other, so it has a lot of force. Uh, that flight controller. On a pre-programmed move, let's hit the button and see one of the pre-programmed moves. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Watch the TV though. Maybe you program it yourself? Nick, programmable, you can, you can programmer save? is programmable. I think yeah. it's a program, so I don't know. Okay. We have to figure that out, guys. It's okay, he's not going to get in. Okay. Okay. I'll make sure I don't hit him. He's not going to get it. Uh, it's way too high for him to get it. Ah, ah. Uh, yeah, like, here, let me try to hold a steady weapon. Look. Ah, ah. Look at that. Ah. That's how safe I feel. Look at that. Mm -hmm. so ah, very ah. stable with some controls. Ah. I needed just a little bit of trim. So step back, honey. I'm gonna do one flip. Oh God! Watch the thing. <laughs> yeah. God. I'm gonna do one flip one time. That's it. Oh. <laughs> that was very stupid. <laughs> okay, so that was what we call uh, quality control uh, of the product. Oops. How strong it is. So that hit a wooden blade. Let's see. No damage. No damage. No damage. No damage. Uh, no damage. Not even a mark. Yeah. So these are very, very residual. Let's see the clicking action. Oh, they still lock into place. Yeah. So no nature. damage. Solid light. We're ah. ready to take off again. So honestly, I probably should not do because when, <laughs> do, when it does a flip is what it does like. is it goes up to, ah. to get off the ground. So when it flips... It doesn't hit the ground, so mm -hmm. it needs to gain altitude. It'll gain altitude while it flips, so watch that. So, uh, a bigger room is <laughs> attacking you. <laughs> Bill, you want to get messed up? <laughs> there, you crazy old mutt. So, he's a crazy little doggy. He's like attacking airplane. With her. It's just play attacking. Ah, ah, yeah. So, basically, this thing is incredible. I like it. I think it's unique and different from your standard drone. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan when it comes to altitude hold because ah. I feel like the ones that you have uh, controlled throughout, I feel like you get more pitch and a little bit faster speed out of them. But if you're a first time flyer, altitude hold is going to be more beginner friendly than a throttle control where you have to worry about throttle and then you have to worry about pitching and banking and rolling. So, um, really, you just got a lot to worry about that way. So, these this does make it when it folds, it's much more compact. Here it is when it's open, and then this is what it looks like when it's full. I think it's very compact. That light is very, very bright, and you can actually angle it and move it. See that? Oh, yeah. So whichever way, if you want it straight out or whatever, so it'll help out with orientation because you have the red in the back, white in the front. So that'll help out with orientation if it gets a little dusky. I wouldn't probably fly it at night or anything like that. The guard would have helped when it comes to bumping it, not on top, but like from the side, it would kind of protect it. Um, the flight time on this, I could tell you, is going to be ridiculous. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I actually tried to fly this earlier outside, and it was so dang windy. All you can hear is the wind, and you couldn't hear the drone, how it performed, anything. And it just almost blew it onto the roof, almost onto the fence. So really, if this is a really, really windy day, very, very light breeze, it might be okay in a rate two if you're more experienced. Keep the altitude low. Don't let it blow away and get stuck in a tree on a roof. You're going to really regret that. Um, it is $34.99 at Meyer. So Myers are everywhere. They do have online shopping as well. So you get delivered to your house so you can do the pickup or whatever. So that's really, really cool. Um, you know, they have quite a few drones there. Remember, we got you got the other light drone for me from there as well. So, uh, and I actually got this one. She got me the drone, but I wanted to try this one. Um, so, uh, 
I'm genuinely honestly impressed. I do I do want to do another flight where I find out what the programmed button is. Um, I want to show you guys because it can do a flip to the right, to the left, front, and back. So that's really nice. It has auto takeoff button, land button. That's really nice. You can also hit up and then it'll start. Hit down, it'll stop. So they'll always spool up just to let you know that it's on. Then it does the altitude hold. So this is actually a really, really nice drone. Uh, I really wanted to flip, but I don't want to hit the ceiling and the fan and everything else in uh, there. So you should go to. That's okay. Hey, I wonder if it's still windy outside. Um, we could see. let's let's do a quick flight in the dark. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Oh God, here comes Billy. He's like, where are you going without me? We'll keep this light off. Okay, hurry because we don't have shoes on. <laughs> yes, we're and only it's gonna cold. Right now, right going so we're gonna take off from right here. Oh, I can't see. At all? I just barely see that. Well, here, let's turn on this light just for reference. Okay. There we go. Can uh, you see it? Yeah. Okay. I can, yeah. Well, the drone will have a light on it, okay. so I'm gonna try to keep it close by. So here we go. Okay. Do you see the light? Yeah. See that? Yeah. Oops. Um, uh, um, don't forget when you change orientation. Meaning it'll be a uh, different location. So it's still really windy. So let me pull back away from us. I'm going to turn this way and you're going to see the red light flip. So here we go. Okay. Still very windy. Here we go. Flip in three, two, one. Okay. Three, two, one. Did you oh, see that? Yeah. Yeah. To the right. Now we're going to go to the left. Oh. That was so left. The wind is blowing it back out. Of it. Yeah. And then I'm going to do a front flip. You ready? Mm -hmm. See how I did a front flip? Mm -hmm. I did a backflip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see the programmable move. Come on, what you got? Well, let me hit it and not hit nothing. Huh? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, if he's program, I, I got to figure that one out. I got to read the manual and see what it... But that's like a figure eight or you know what I mean? I don't know. Because I'm stopping it like. So um, one more flip, honey. Backwards, okay. you ready? Towards us. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna show you auto land and auto take off. Okay. So here we go. You ready? I'm gonna hit the land button. Yep. You ready? Look at that. Hands free. Nice. <laughs> See that? So there you have it. Let's go inside really quickly. <laughs> Breathing, and we'll end this video. So honestly, guys, this thing is a lot of fun. I I honestly recommend it. Watch out, boo boo. I honestly recommend it. Um, flying in no wind conditions, or if you have a really large li living room, be careful not to hit stuff, TVs and stuff. Obviously, it could scratch and damage them. But this thing hit that hard. Seems to be made well. Seems to fly good, uh, seems to do flips, rolls. I don't know this button. We're gonna figure out what it is. Um, it still has plenty of battery life because these will flash when the battery gets low. 500 milliamps will get you a nice long flight, which I really like. Honestly, my only gripe about this one from this brand and the other one is I feel like for $35, these batteries are maybe $2, maybe, if that. Um, like the manufacturer, I guarantee they're not paying more than two or three dollars. If they're selling uh, a four batteries or five batteries with a little baby multi charger for twenty twenty five dollars, the batteries are very cheap, right? I feel like for thirty five bucks they could have thrown another one. It's not a deal breaker for me. I think it's still worth that. But what Banggood and E stores have on these is you'll see like three battery combo, two battery combo. That's what they kind of have. Yes, you have to wait a longer period of time to get it, especially now with shipping. I understand that. But, like, uh, feel free to go to Amazon. See if this is available there. If they have a multiple battery combo. If not, uh, they should have. I'll provide a link in the description. Um, they should have some kind of battery combo for it uh, to where you can buy the drone and you can buy the batteries. If you like it, buy the batteries extra for it because it seems to be a lot of fun, honestly. I enjoyed it. I had a good time with it. So... Not bad for $34.99, obviously, plus tax at Meyer. So, uh, yeah, 
extra props. Uh, I wrecked the crap out of it and it did absolutely <laughs> nothing to the drone. So I could see it taking a beating. It is geared, by the way, it's geared motors. You can see the little gears in there. You can't, but I can. I can see the little gears in there. It seems to have plenty of power. Honestly, long term, uh, the first thing that's going to give is either the battery or the brushed motors. This shell is going to take a beating. This controller dropping it would be the only way you'd break this controller. Um, honestly, a brushed motor has anywhere from two to three to four years, depending on how hard you're on. If you fly constantly in the wind, there's a lot of factors. So keep that in mind. The first thing that's really going to burn out is the brush motors, which the cool part is you can get brush motors if you know how to solder the little wires. Just solder them right back on the board. You get brush motors for it. Replace them. You get batteries. Replace them. These flight controllers typically don't fail or the controller. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. As far as upgradability for this, uh, I don't... It, the, bat, the flight time... Even when I was outside in the wind, I probably flew it for like 10 minutes. And I still couldn't drain the battery to make, get the lights to flash. So the flight time's incredible on this. So honestly, getting a couple would be more than enough. Okay, buddy, I'll get you something to eat. Getting a couple batteries would be more than enough. So honestly, it's a good drone. There you have it, guys. Uh, we will revisit it to figure out the program button. And maybe I might do some mods to it. We'll see. So there you have it, guys. Um... And uh, that's going to do it for this one. So I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.